Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video, which is going to be a no holds barred review on a bunch of subscription boxes that I've been subscribed to for at least six months and most of them for over two years. I just wanted to share my experience in case you were debating on which subscription box, if any, was going to be right for you. And I want to share sort of a little bit of the anecdotal stories of the ups and downs I've had with the different companies and which one I would recommend for what type of person. Rest assured, I'm going to be 100% honest. I have no affiliation or connection to any of these subscription box companies. I'm just a customer and I want to share my experience. I will leave a link down in my description box for each of the subscription boxes in case you want to join. And those are referral links, which any customer can get. You don't have to be an influencer. You don't have to have a channel or social media or anything like that. And if you join any of these subscription boxes using my referral links, I may get a discount on something or points towards buying something in their store each one has a different program so if you do join any of them based on my link then I appreciate it otherwise visit the website on your own and take a look around and see if it's something you'd be interested in I'll also be unboxing a representative box of each subscription box so that you can see the kind of items that you're going to be getting in there it's not like an unboxing video the way people do monthly boxy charm unboxings which I used to do on my channel or things like that it's more just so that you can get an idea of the types of products you might receive so that way you can use it to make a better informed decision decision. I'll also share any highlights that I might have based on prior experience of things I really liked or really hated, again, to help you make a better decision. Before we get into all that, if you're new here, I'm Jody. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope this one is going to help you out. I hope you'll enjoy it. Consider joining my makeup family and hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell so you can be notified every single time I upload. Now, without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into this video because it might be a long one. Let's start with Tribe Beauty Box. Now, Tribe Beauty Box is an every other month subscription service. So you get six boxes in a year, and the price is $34.99, which gets every other month. Now, you're billed on the first of the month, and the box ships shortly thereafter. Now, I'm not going to add taxes and shipping. You can look at that in your own area because it, obviously taxes are going to differ, but I want to give you an idea of just the base price of the box. I've had Tribe Beauty Box for about a year now, and I first joined when they did a collaboration with Porcelain who is a youtuber and I have found that over the lifetime of my subscription whenever they have a subscription box that is curated in collaboration with an influencer the products have a tendency to be a little bit better so that's just something to keep in mind this specific one we're going to be unboxing is the December box and this is how it comes packaged and this one was curated in collaboration with Angelica Nyquist here on YouTube so again you have that collaboration with an influencer and I find that the products are a little bit better when that is the case. So the first product for reference is a palette by Glamlight Cosmetics. This is the brand that's known for the food type palettes and things like that and it's an indie brand. So for Tribe Beauty Box you're going to find a lot more of those indie brands. So if you're a person who has a lot of the mainstream brands and you're really more interested in learning about those indie brands then Tribe Beauty Box might be good for you. So here's what that palette looks like. It looks like that very pretty palette you also get an insert telling you you know pretty much everything that's in the box and the specific prices so here is the insert for this specific month as well as the prices in there now the price of the glam light miracle palette is supposed to be $28 here you can see Angelica's picture you also get a makeup geek highlighter the makeup geek highlighter has a price of $14.99 Gerard cosmetics hydra matte liquid lipstick in the shade mudslide I'm actually really curious to try this you do have a multi chrome eyeshadow flake and this is really interesting it's a tiny little pot of eyeshadow flakes that are supposed to be more pigmented than regular eyeshadows and they're loose kind of iridescent multicolored flakes it's super messy so you can see it's kind of sliding out of the pot here but when you open it up it's actually quite nice so this is what I mean like they're indie brands that you may not have heard of and you get to try different products from them in that sense. This specific multi-chrome pigment is $17.99. It's supposed to be 35 times more expensive than a regular eyeshadow formula. I don't have any experience with those. You also have a brush set and this is a brush set from the stained glass collection that was released by Cleona Cosmetics. 
Right now, Cleona Cosmetics is gaining a lot of traction on YouTube because they released that stained glass collection that has multi-chromes and glitters and all kinds of things. And this is a brush set that was specifically curated for Tribe Beauty Box that has sort of the stained glass kind of handles. I'm going to open one so that you can take a look at it. Here it is. It's a really pretty handle. These are going to be really decorative pieces. They feel like your standard synthetic makeup brush. They're very pretty though. Those are said to retail for $24.50. And last but not least, you have an herbal collagen and retinol cherub eye mask by the brand Sistine. Never heard of this brand. One thing about Tribe Beauty Box is that they include multiple products, so they'll send you like a palette, a lip product, a tool, and then a skincare item. And that's kind of how they do the box each specific time. So you get a nice variety of products there. And again, their benefit is that you're trying out more of those indie brands, a little less heard of brands, but ones that you do hear about in the beauty community. With Tribe Beauty Beauty box you do get the option to select one item sometimes they have a variation item like it may be three different eyeshadow palettes and you choose the color story that most appeal to you with this box I was able to select the shade of highlighter they had this one which was a lighter one and then they had one for deeper skin tone so I was able to select my highlighter shade their website is a little bit outdated you can tell it's kind of a clunker but they do send you like picture directions on how to make your choice selection for that specific month and it's more of a shade preference rather than a varying item selection they do have add-on items in case you want to purchase some of the other products that you could have selected at a discounted price so that's a nice thing as well I've not had any negative experiences with tribe I've never received anything broken but again in times that the boxes are not curated the palettes are a little less in interesting in my opinion and the kind of brands that you're likely to receive are like Wander Beauty. I have received Suva Beauty. I've also gotten the Balm Cosmetics and things like that but I do find that the products that I receive in the box do make up the value and in general I've been happy with the subscription and that's one I plan on retaining. Now let's move on to Ipsy and I have a lot to share about Ipsy, most of it not positive. I originally joined Ipsy with a glam bag plus subscription which is $25 a month and you are given a selection of products similar to a BoxyCharm which is a very popular one and one that I'll mention in this video as well. But after a couple of months of the Glam Bag Plus they decided to expand and do a Glam Bag Ultimate which is more of a boxy luxe subscription that is $50 a month and you get a selection of products there. Now I have to admit I was much happier with the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and if you were considering Ipsy that is is where I would suggest you begin. I don't like the general glam bag because those are just sample sizes. In my opinion, samples should be free. You shouldn't have to pay for those. And so I don't like the regular Ipsy bag. That's about $10. My preference has always been for the $25 bag. I don't recommend this one at all. With Ipsy, you do get a selection window and they have an app which is really quite nice and you're able to select your preferences there. And with Ipsy, your selection is between different items. So they'll show you five or six different items allow you to pick that one that you prefer and then they'll customize your box depending on how you selected that initial product they also have a beauty quiz which you can fill out which has questions about your skin type your skin tone and your preference with regard to beauty products but I have to admit I don't think they're paying attention to it at all it gives you the impression that they're really going to listen because the questions are very specific and very involved but I know I put that I never wanted to receive nail polish and I received nail polish twice now so I don't I don't think they're paying attention to the beauty quiz. A lot of people have been doing Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate unboxings here on YouTube and their experiences are not positive. They have not really enjoyed them and I have to agree with them. Another situation that I had with Ipsy was that I received a broken item and I contacted customer service and they did respond and they said they were going to replace my item. I was very specific about what the item was that was broken and the shade and everything else and they sent me a replacement item that was completely different and something I had received in a previous box and when I told told them, um, hey, you know, this is not the product that was broken. I already have this from a previous box. They completely stopped responding to me and so customer service 
No. I was trying to be patient because this is a new addition to the Ipsy line and I was really enjoying the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus but the ultimate is just not the business. So here's how the box does come packaged. You have a foam insert. You do have an informative sheet with the different products that you have in there and let's go ahead and unbox this one so that you can get an idea of the products. The insert for Ipsy is this fold out book and it does give you the retail prices so I'm going to keep that handy to give you an idea. Now one of the things about Ipsy is that it always comes with a makeup bag and to be honest I would prefer they not because we don't need a new makeup bag every single month. I would prefer that they either include another product or just take this out altogether and reduce the price because even though the bags are nice and some of them are quite cute we don't need a new makeup bag every single month. So now in general with Ipsy you do get, you do get more better known brands but you get a mixture of different products. So here we have the Feel Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Facial Sheet Mask Set. This set is supposed to retail for $35 and to be honest like with all subscription boxes I feel that they inflate the retail values at times and Ipsy's no different in that regard. Here we have something by Skin & Co. I received this brand in my BoxyCharm as well. This is a Truffle Therapy Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage. So basically it's a physical exfoliant. Another thing in my beauty quiz that I said I did not want to receive. This is supposed to retail for $28. Here we have something from 111 Skin, which is one of those ridiculously expensive skincare brand. The full size value of this is supposed to be $200. It is an activating hydrogel, so basically it is a moisturizer. It is from their regenerative line, which is supposed to rejuvenate, refresh, tired skin. Every energizing formula contains a combination of active ingredients developed to mimic the regenerative and tightening effect of extreme cold on the skin. I don't know. I would never purchase something like that for $200. I just wouldn't. We have a liquid lipstick from the brand Fluid in the shade Candy Bar. This one I'm okay with. The retail price is supposed to be $16, but I've honestly never heard of this brand. I did receive something from Girlactic, which is a brand that I'm curious about, but I received this as a free gift with purchase when I bought something from Macy's. So that just goes to show the kind of product that you're receiving. This is a lip balm product, and the price of this one is supposed to be $34 and you do receive two of them. The product that I did select, this was my choice item, was from Complex Culture and this is a makeup brush. The retail price of this is supposed to be $35 but I've never heard of this brand. This is similar to one of the Scott Barnes brushes that I have. It feels quite nice. Synthetic bristles. They're kind of opening up, um, shutting a little bit but it doesn't feel bad. It feels like an okay brush but again for a retail price of $35 that isn't necessarily something I would purchase for myself although it's nice to get it in a box and like I said this one I picked out on my own we have a space case highlighter this one is supposed to retail for nine dollars and it looks kind of like a ColourPop super shock highlighter it has sort of that twist cap and it's a pretty nice universal champagne shade I don't mind that at all retail value nine dollars here's something from pixie beauty and it's a tiny little eyeshadow duo here's what that looks like and I have mine in the shade mineral bronze this this is just labeled as a deluxe sample and the full size version is supposed to retail for $12. I don't mind this but it is sample size. We do have a makeup remover balm which is a deluxe sample. This one is called Clean It Zero and it's a cleansing balm original. It's a deluxe size and the full size of this specific product would be $19. Again, I don't mind trying that either. We have another deluxe sample. This one is Delectable Butter Balm Hand Cream. I actually like this. This is a deluxe sample full, full size retails for nine dollars two more products in the box the first one is an eyeliner from Illamasqua this is a nice brand and one that I'm interested in trying more from the retail value of this one is $22 and I would have to say probably out of everything in my box this is probably the item I like the most and last but not least, we have a contour palette. This is the Lo-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Palette by Morphe Brushes. And I don't own this, but it's interesting. This was one of the choice items, and I did not select it. I selected the brush instead, but yet they still send me the palette, which, I mean, it's fine. I like the palette as well. 
The retail value of this is $25, but of course we know this is carried at Ulta Beauty and we can use coupons on this. Here's what the palette looks like. The shades actually look quite nice and I think it's very appropriate for my skin tone. So I think that this is a nice palette and I like it as well. So even though there's nice items included in this box, I think that just the variety is not necessarily stuff that I would pick for myself or things that I was altogether that curious about. It's okay at best. It's okay. I was not happy with their customer service though and when I see the unboxings for the Glam Bag Plus, I think that the products there are much more aligned with that price point which is $25 and so I think I'm going to give it one more month with this and if I'm not impressed with January's box then I will probably either go to the Glam Bag Plus or just cancel it altogether. Customer service wise I have to say Ipsy has been my least favorite. So like I mentioned with Ipsy they have that app. You can select one item that you're getting from the box and the rest are just very random. They do have a store where you can purchase things at a slight discount price and you can do add-on items which I've done in the past with them and that's nice because then you can select the specific items that you want and the prices are good in that case. They do include it with your subscription box so you don't have to pay an additional shipping fee or anything like that. So that's something that's kind of nice about Ipsy. Here's one I'm very excited to share. I haven't seen anybody do an unboxing of this one on YouTube. This one is from Camera Ready Cosmetics and it's kind of like a pro makeup store. It's similar to Muse Beauty but not as high end I would say and it's called the Proscription Box. This one is a quarterly box so you get four boxes per year and it does retail for $75. I've had this subscription for six months. In my very first box I received a melt stack as well as an artiste brush. I received the oval 7 which was great this one retails for $75 and again it's every three months so it's kind of a seasonal box one other nice thing about this one is that they have both a makeup lover kind of box as well as the makeup artist box and the makeup artist has things that are more geared towards the work you makeup artist so they might have a complexion product in multiple shades or um, a palette with different skin tones included products like that whereas the ones for makeup enthusiast is more of individual type products which is what I prefer since I'm not a working makeup artist I have more fun with this box so that was an example of what I received in my very first box and here's the card that comes inside and you have a list of your products that are there the first thing that I have in this box is the Peter Thomas Roth mask set and this retails for $35 you have five piece masks and they're called the masquerade so basically you have a variety of masks if you enjoy multi-masking in different areas of your face to address different concerns. Peter Thomas Roth is a very well-known brand and I'm happy with that product. Now here's something that I'm really excited about. I shared this in a previous haul video. It's something that I picked up at Ulta. This is the Ricky Cutie and it retails for $55 and it's basically a portable makeup mirror that has lights and I absolutely love the one I already own. I do not mind having Having a backup. I'm not sure if I'm gonna save this for a giveaway or maybe my daughter will want it. I'm not exactly sure but that retails for $55. So already I have a $35 item and a $55 item. Next we have something from the brand Kojendo which I love their foundation. These are the Cleansing Spa Water Wipes. It's a 10 pack and they retail for $23. I've seen Kathleen Lights rave about these wipes but they are super expensive. $23 for 10 wipes. That's expensive so I'm deaf, like she would say that's expensive but I'm happy to try it out in the box because I paid 75 for everything they do send samples in these boxes as well so this one is a sample size and it is an $8 value of the Becca skin love brighten and blur primer hated their foundation but maybe the primer is better here we have a smashbox 
Luxe Always On Metallic Matte Liquid Lipstick and this one, let's see. Oh, you get two deluxe sizes. So I think there's another one. Oh yeah. So you get deluxe sizes of the matte version as well as the metallic version and the retail for this is $21. You have the shade Maneater and the shade Out Loud. I love the shade Out Loud but I own it in full size so I will save that for my daughter or a giveaway. <laughs> Next we have something from Laura Mercier. This is the Eyes of Gold Mini Caviar Stick Collection. I think this was their holiday collection of the little mini caviar sticks and you have four best-selling eyeshadow sticks with rich long-lasting color payoff. I actually haven't peeked inside this box. I was waiting to unbox it along with you. This is a $70 value but I think they were selling this at Sephora for like $35 for the holiday and it even went on sale so I don't know about that retail price but still Laura Mercier caviar sticks are something that people really rave about and so I'm happy to try them out in the box. And last but not least, this is the item I was most excited about. This is the Lorac Pro Palette number no. 4. And I actually don't have this one. It also comes with a sample of their primer potion, but every Lorac palette has that, so I have so many sitting around. I definitely don't need an additional primer potion, but I'm really excited about the palette because I don't have this one. This is the only one I don't have from the Lorac Pro palettes, and it's the most recent one as well, which is really cool. So they're not just sending you like old product. I know that this recently went on sale for like $20 at Ulta Beauty but you know I got it in my box along with a lot of other things and here it is. It is an excellent shape. I always hear April from Wanna Makeup. She loved this palette. She was raving about it when it first came out so I'm really excited to try it out in my box. In general I'm very happy with this box but it is quite a bit of a larger financial investment at $75 but it is only four times a year that you pay for this one. Now, as far as this one, you don't get to select any products, although when the subscription is about to renew, you do get a sneak peek of two of the products that you are going to get. So I already knew that I was going to be getting the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks as well as the Ricky Cutie. And honestly, this kind of makes up the price of the box by itself. And then it tells you the other brands that are going to be there, but it doesn't tell you specifically what products. And I am thrilled to get this one. Sorry, the packaging has these paper worms like um like Pat McGrath packages used to bring. Now in terms of selecting any, you don't get to select any products, but you do get those sneak peeks. And on the month that you renew your subscription, you do get 10% off of anything on their website and they sell a lot of the brands that are included in their box. They have Smith Cosmetics and a couple of other kind of um, makeup artist kind of brands. So I've only received two boxes from them and so far my experience has been positive. Now mind you, they do bill on the first of the month quarterly and then the shipping kind of takes a while. So this one took about three weeks to get to me after they had already billed my card, which is kind of long, but you know, it's okay and I'm happy with the items and happy with the service. Moving right along, we have FabFitFun, and I've done FabFitFun unboxings on my channels as well, but I stopped because people didn't really seem to be too interested in them. I continued my subscription though, and I enjoy it, although I have to say that this FabFitFun box is going to be better for someone who likes a variety of products because it's, again, things about makeup, also fitness, as well as health. Sometimes there's even food in there, so it's a very wide variety of product, and you get the this book with information about the products that are included in the box as well as just little articles relevant to the specific season. FabFitFun is $50 and it is a quarterly box so it's similar to the proscription from Camera Ready Cosmetics and you can save money if you decide to pay for the year outright and I think that's they have a special name for that level of subscriber. Let me see if I can find it. Those are called select members so if you pay for a yearly subscription then you would become a select member and you get even more choice items than just a general member. So here's the thing about FabFitFun. You get to pick your products in a couple of categories. So I'll show you some of the ones that I selected. But if you are a select member and you do pay your membership outright, which would be $200 for the year, then you get to choose more things. Another thing is that they have add-ons. So when the box is about to come out, they open up their sale where you can select different items to add on to your box at a reduced cost. Their add-on items that they have, they're actually really, really nice, but 
I seldom get the opportunity to purchase the products that I would personally want because I'm not a select member. I just pay for my subscription seasonally. So I pay $50 when the box is gonna come. And so when the add-on shop opens, everything is already sold out because the select members have already purchased everything and that's fine. If you have a higher tier of membership, then you deserve those perks, which I totally get. But it's just something to keep in mind. Like don't get it in your head that you're gonna be able to add on all these special items if you choose not to have a select membership because it's very rare. They also have sales that they open up seasonally with like old stock or other different things that they have on promotion. But again, select members will get first dibs and by the time you get in there, a lot of those things are already sold out. So that's just something to keep in mind with the box. The FabFitFun boxes are really cute. This is how they come boxed. And I enjoy them because you do get a variety of other items. I've never had any customer service issue where something was missing or I didn't get my selection. It's always been pretty on point. So I don't really have any complaints with regard to customer service. It's just, just the add-ons. I kind of wish I could get in with some of those special things, but then I would be a select member, right? So, so let's take a look we've got the makeup eraser as my first product and I actually I love this I found a makeup eraser at TJ Maxx this is the original one so I think it's just pink I absolutely love it I'm still going to do a cleanse with my balm but afterwards you can wipe down your face with this and it removes all traces of makeup this is great I love this this one retails for $20 now you can find it cheaper at TJ Maxx but you know here we have something from dry bar i received other things from dry bar my fat fit fun this is the prep rally prime prep detangler and the price of this one is 23 dollars. here we have something that i am so excited about and this is something that it would have been a choice item for select members but i actually got my choice anyway these are from baddington lashes and they are in the style monroe i first got these lashes in a boxy charm actually and i love them but I wore them to death and I finally had to get rid of them and I'm so glad to have them back in my collection. I think they're overpriced for what they're quoting here at $32. I know Beauty Bay had them on sale once but still I'm thrilled to have them. Here we have something from Frank Body and it is a coffee scrub so it's a body exfoliator and you could have gotten this or a color switch or an Ahava. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's like a salt body wash. I'm happy with this. I enjoy body exfoliators although it's interesting that this is in this pouch because you know you kind of keep this in the shower but that's fine the retail price for this one is $16.95 here we have another item this is a mask for your hands I actually I love this my hands are horribly horribly dry especially this time of year I'm actually gonna use these tonight that's what I mean like the seasonal products are really interested uh, interesting these are by nails Inc and they retail for $16 I think you get two in here I'm gonna use this tonight here we have a it's called beauty for humanity and it is some sort of balm it's a squeeze out balm and massage into skin you can use it as a facial mask or throughout the day where needed on lips and on dry patches. So just some kind of beauty balm. It's called Balm to Oil and the retail price is $28. You could have gotten other things here. You could have gotten a palette from Beauty Bakery, some glow drops from Rodile, a couple of other different options. I probably would have picked the palette from Beauty Bakery, but I'm happy with this as well. Here's one of my first choice items. This is a little beanie and arm warmer set and it's by the brand Rebecca Minkoff. You know she sells handbags and such and this is actually really really cute. So you have your beanie with a little pom-pom and your arm warmers. Now I selected this from other options like there were options where you could have gotten the Kate Somerville goat milk or a blanket or an r and Co shampoo and conditioner but I thought that this was so cute for winter time. I actually I look forward to wearing this one they look really nice although it's been so warm this winter but I do like that 
lot and that's something that I picked out myself. And the last item in the box are these slippers. I wear slippers around the house all the time and sometimes I wear them outside to walk my dog so they get a little bit beat up. So here's what these look like and I was able to select my size preference when I picked out the slippers so I could make sure that they would fit and they have kind of this furry inside and they are just gray slippers by the brand PJ Savage. I don't think PJ Salvage. I don't think I've ever heard of that brand, but they feel cozy. They definitely look like they would fit. This one retails for $45. You could have picked a candle. You could have picked an eyelash conditioner, an Erno Laszlo clay mask and such. But again, for winter time, I thought that these were really, really cute. So FabFitFun I recommend if you're interested in a variety of products with health and fitness and wellness in general. You do get a lot of hair products and I've gotten like a robe in the past. I've gotten other gloves during another winter season. So you get really nice products and I really enjoy them. I enjoy receiving FabFitFun and I do find that I get the $50 value each month. So if you enjoy a variety of products, there's something I would recommend, although don't be taken by the whole add-on thing unless you're willing to pay for a select membership. And last but not least, we have BoxyCharm. So I'm going to start with Boxy Premium because Boxy Charm now has different tiers and they have regular Boxy Charm which is $25 a month. They have Boxy Premium which I'm about to show you which is $35 a month. And then quarterly you do change, you do have the option to change your regular Boxy Charm for a Boxy Lux which I also have here that is $50 a month. Okay, so let me tell you the details about Boxy Charm. I actually made a whole video about how Boxy Charm works. It's one of my most viewed videos on my channel because I guess a lot of people are curious about it and I think overall if you're a beauty lover BoxyCharm is still going to be the best subscription service in my opinion they've also gotten a lot better in the recent months but I have to tell you customer service no so let me tell you the good things. The good things is that they include mainstream brands. They're going to be brands that you recognize. They have Tarte, they have Natasha Denona, they have Kat Von D, they have Too Faced, they have Makeup Geek, they have brands that you're going to recognize that you'll find at Sephora and Ulta. They have, I've recently gotten products from Pharmacy, from Glow Recipe, really great, well-known brands. So if you're interested in trying more high-end products, BoxyCharm is going to be the one for you. They do have a beauty quiz which is a little bit less detailed than Ipsy, but to be honest, they've been more aligned with my beauty quiz than Ipsy has, so they do add-ons as well, and the add-ons typically ship separately, but there's not an additional shipping charge, which I like, and you often have a choice to add on an item that you didn't select to choose into your box, so if there was something that you wanted both selections, you can add on the second one at a reduced price, which is pretty good, and I've had a good experience with that as well. The problem with BoxyCharm, their website is also completely archaic. It breaks down so much, especially when they do the Boxy pop-up. So Boxy pop-up is basically an open shop where members can shop things at discounted rates. They do it, I think, once every few months. They've done it twice now. The first time around, I had a better experience probably because it was new and not that many people knew about it. But the second time around, the website completely crashed and they had to postpone the Boxy pop-up to a whole other week and no one knew when it was gonna come up and things were selling out and the site was crashing. It was, I tried a couple of times, this is not even worth it and I logged out because it was so frustrating. Another thing that they have is Boxy Choice where you are able to pick between a variety of different products. Sometimes you can select one product or two products. The problem with Boxy Charm Choice is that the choice window is extremely narrow. It's literally about 24 hours, 48 hours max, and sometimes you don't get the emails. Specifically for January, I didn't get the email for my choice for Boxy 
Sexy Charm Premium and I contacted customer service right away and they responded to me with a canned response and basically they were not reading my emails and I even said please read what I'm saying because they kept saying add BoxyCharm to your email so we don't go into spam. I've added BoxyCharm to my email. I have all their emails saved on my phone as VIP so I get notifications when their emails come in and they were just not reading it. They were sending canned responses not even paying attention and saying oh we're so sorry that you missed the email. I'm like no I did not miss the email. You did not send the email. It's a big difference. If I miss the email that's on me but if they didn't send the email that's on them right but they never sent it and their customer service is just not responsive at all. I've had items that have shown up broken and with them I did contact customer service and they did replace the item and they did send that specific item so that was something that was good at least. Now despite my frustration with their website being so archaic and so glitchy I still have to say that they are the best subscription service again if you want those more mainstream brands and you're looking to grow your collection. You do get your money's worth with the products although from time to time there are those throwaway brands. So let's go ahead and get into the boxy premium. This one is every single month $35. So you get a card and here is how the products come packaged in the boxy premium. They're very securely packaged. And we have a lip liner from Natasha Denona. The lip liner retails for $18 in the shade Mandarin. So I'm assuming it's going to be an orangey shade. A oh, very nice kind of orangey but still neutral shade. I like that. So like I mentioned, you get a brand like Natasha Denona in the box, which is amazing. But then you might have a brand like this. So this is by Basic Beauty and it is the Glowy AF Wet Glow Palette. So I'm assuming it's a highlighting palette. Supposedly it retails for $30 but I've never heard of this brand and I certainly wouldn't pay $30 for it. The palette itself feels very basic and you have kind of like a highlighting palette. Um, They're okay. I could see myself using these tones. I'm not sure about this one. This one might be a little bit too dark for my skin tone but it's okay and definitely a product I will try. There's been from time to time that I get these brands I've never heard of and the product is actually pretty good. Here we have something from Bite Beauty and this was one of the items that I was able to choose for my December box and this is the reformulated Agave Plus Nighttime Lip Therapy Mask. I love Bite Beauty. I tried their lip exfoliator and I did not like that at all but this one is more like a balm product for nighttime and it does come with a little spatula there at the top. Really nice. Again this is a very well-known brand that you can find at Sephora and the price tag for this one is $22. Very happy to have that. We have another product from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Now this one is from for oily to combo skin and I actually have dry skin so actually let me leave this closed. I'll look into this one a little bit more and see if it's going to be okay for my skin. It does say, oh it does say for dry skin to use it as a serum. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We also have this product from Avant, one of those ridiculously expensive skincare brands. This is supposed to retail for $134. It is a face and eye night cream with hyaluronic acid. It's super tiny. You're getting 1.69 fluid ounces here. And I actually went on their website and the prices are what they say, but I, I don't know, I've never heard of this brand before. And last but not least, we have an eyeshadow palette and I actually own this palette already so I'll probably hold on to this one for a giveaway or see if my daughter wants it. It is the Hidden Treasures eyeshadow palette. Let's just take a look to make sure it's not broken. No, it's not broken. And here's what that one looks like. It's a very nice neutral palette. There was one point in time on YouTube where this palette was all the rage and people were really raving about it. Um, I picked mine up from Beauty Bay because I was a latecomer to Dose of Colors, but it's very nice to receive that in the box. And the retail price for that one is $50. I think that one has been on sale at Ulta for the 21 Days of Beauty or something like that, one of their promotions. So that was my Boxy Premium and for $35 you are getting an amazing, amazing value. I really enjoy everything that I get in my Boxy Charm, but it's just their website and customer service.
leaves a little something to be desired sometimes so that was the boxy premium and now we can get into my boxy lux which is the last one so with boxy lux it's kind of optional you can add boxy lux to your regular subscription but you can't add it to the premium subscription which is kind of annoying so you have to have like the base box and you can upgrade quarterly to get the boxy lux and in my opinion it's worth it i've gotten my money's worth from boxy lux each and every time that i received it and i received it over a year now pretty much since it first started and I do recommend it so the theme here is also whimsy and let's go ahead and unbox because my battery is about to die first product is something I've actually tried before this is the ritual of Sakura and it's a shower gel it's a foaming shower gel I got this as a free gift from Ulta and it's nine dollars and fifty cents it's not necessarily something I would run out and buy for myself but I do enjoy it when I have it here we have something from Too Faced and it is one of their matte liquid lip sticks and this one is in the shade suck it which is kind of like a oh I see it's nice it's not so much like the packaging well maybe it is I don't know it's a pretty shade it's a very neutral kind of cool tone nude shade and I do enjoy this liquid lipstick formula this one retails for $21 and I didn't choose any of those items they were just the additional items in the box here we have something by In Beauty Project. This is a fairly new brand. I've heard about this brand and their lip oils, I would say. They're getting really good reviews. This is a setting mist and it is just to set makeup and energize skin. In Beauty Project is the brand and it retails for $32. That's quite pricey, but it reminds me a little bit of the Pixi Glow Mist because it has that biphasic quality to it. You can definitely see the oil droplets in there. I do enjoy that one so I'm interested in trying that out. Here we have something from Kat Von D Beauty and it is a liquid liner. This is the Dagger Tattoo Liner. This is different than the other liner that she would have that was so popular but it is in the same shade so it's still in trooper black and I'm not gonna open this one up because I have a lot of liners in progress right now but I don't mind giving that a try and again Kat Von D is a fairly recognized brand. This was one of my choices items and it is by the brand cosmetics and let's see this one is a facial roller it retails for $69 and basically I got it because I always see Tati with her nurse Jamie facial roller and here's what mine looks like so I have the purple one and it's basically oh it's heavy it's basically a facial roller oh I see I probably shouldn't be doing this while I have makeup on. Oh, it feels cold. But it feels good. I don't know about these things, the jade rollers and things like that, but I don't remember what the other item was that I specifically wanted to try this one more than the other one. And so this was my choice item. That one retails for $69. The next thing, I think there was some drama with this Ciate highlighter, whereas the packaging is different than the regular one. I don't exactly know what the drama was with this, but there was something about about it. In any case, I like Ciate as a brand. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's very reflective, but it's pretty. It feels a little bit cheaper than their typical packaging. It's a little lighter and it's a highlighter and it's in the shade Confetti. It looks pretty. It looks like your typical champagne shade. And the price for that one is $32. Next, we have something from Fresh. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And I know this is a lot of people's favorite face, face cleanser. I've tried a small sample but that was before I discovered double cleansing and I was frustrated because this wouldn't remove my makeup but I think now that I use a cleansing balm and take off my makeup fully and then go in with a Clarisonic I think I might enjoy this a little bit more and this is a full-size product retailing for $48 so that's definitely a great addition to the box we also have something from Saturday Skin. This is the Glacier Water Cream. So again, a very well-recognized brand. One that you can find at Sephora. And it's a moisturizer. I do get a lot of moisturizers. But here's what that one looks like. The price of that one is $39 for that moisturizer. And last but not least is my very first Storybooks Cosmetics palette. And I think that this is something that was made exclusively for for BoxyCharm but I'm not sure because I've never seen this in store. I've seen the Mean Girls one, the pink, what is it? The, the book 
slam book I'm not sure something about a book and then here we have the fairy tale ones this is little briar rose I've also seen the wizards and witchcraft or something like that but here's that color story very pretty super bulky packaging but I understand you know it's kind of part of the theme so you can see it's really thick it kind of looks like a book but this is super cute I like the shades that are included too you can definitely get a neutral look but you have your pops of color there as well and the retail price for this one is 55 dollars and that is the price I've seen at Ulta Beauty although I've seen them on sale recently so that was everything in my boxy lux but again definitely well worth the $50 I far exceeded the value I wish their customer service was a little bit more personal but I understand they're growing as a company I think they need to update their website quite a bit but in general if you're a makeup lover wanting to try out mainstream brands BoxyCharm is going to be the one that I recommend even though it's not without its flaws. That's everything for my video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my honest responses to the unboxings of the different products. I would love to know which subscription box you're most curious about. If there's any that I didn't cover here that you enjoy, let me know because I do enjoy getting a mystery box. It's kind of like a present to myself every month and I have fun with the products. It's a good way to try out new brands and I do feel that I get the value for the money. I would say out of all of the ones that I have here, Ipsy is the one that's just kind of right now. I don't know. I have to think about that one. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I know it was a long one. I will put timestamps or something to make it a little bit more bearable, but hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to get back to you and help you out as best as I can. Otherwise, that is all from me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the subscription box extravaganza and I look forward to seeing you again really, really soon on my next one. Bye-bye.